of the internet. My name is Dated Illustrator and welcome to my Q&A video speed painting of my Bob. How you doing? So, just as a heads up, everything I'm doing right now is totally unscripted, so it's, it's gonna be just random bits that make no sense here and there and everywhere. Also, I naturally stutter a lot, so I'm sorry in advance. That's so let's get right into the video. So on DA, Gemino Pollux asks, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. What got you into drawing in the first place? That's a good question. Well, I I believe I said in on Tasha's channel. Um, um, DVZ. Not gonna lie, well Dragon Ball Z Kai in particular because. It's the, it's, not only was it the first anime I watched, but it, was, it made me think, I want to make my own cartoon. So I just kept drawing and drawing and drawing. I mean, I, I've been drawing since I'm able to pick up a pencil and paper, but I got serious into it back in 6th grade when I first saw Dragon Ball Z Kai. And that's my answer. On Twitter, Kimmy Kimmy asked, What makes you motivated to draw? I don't know. Whenever I feel like it, and I actually, and I actually feel okay with it, I don't know, I, like, a lot of shit posting. I don't know. I'm random. I'm sorry. Silver asked, what's your, what's your favorite kind of music? Mm, I like, when I'm not on the internet, whatever I have on my iPod, whatever I'm doing, I always listen to a lot of salsa, a big gatón, merengue, bachata, stuff like that. So when I'm online and I actually have YouTube available, I listen to a lot of jazz, a pop, a subset, dubstep, stuff like that. <laughs> Do you find ASMR weird? Um, a little. They make my ear holes feel super, super weird and uncomfortable. I don't like them at all, to be honest. Do you play video games? If so, what's your favorite one? I used to, but since my PS3 died a while back and then there's nothing going on in the PS Vita, I kind of pretty much stopped playing video games in general. No, when I did play in the, when I did play on the PS3, um, I would play Need for Speed 3 with my dad. It was tons of fun. I, I love car racing games. And when it comes to the PSP and PS Vita, yes, I have a PSP. It's old though. I kind of broke the disc reader. I on um, both of them, I would play Little Big Planet. I just love Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet was my favorite game in all, in all PlayStation platforms. And I, speaking of it, I like I kind of like platformers. Platformers are my favorite types of games. What kind of content are you hoping to do? Well, definitely more speed paints. I'm just I'm in the dry period again, unfortunately. But I also want to try animation memes because well. Because it, 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 it looks like a ton of fun, and, and as far as I know, it's good practice for animation. My problem is, I'm afraid of the feedback, you know, as of recently, people make a lot of rants on animation, on the animation media community, so I'm a little scared. So, yeah. Someone asked, what's the worst thing about being an artist? Well, that's easy. <clears throat> Can you draw this for me? Oh, don't worry. I don't have money, but you'll get a ton of exposure. Something like that, like, you know, people expect you to draw for free. I don't get as often uh, to, as, a, as a lot of my friends do, but it's, it's still annoying regardless. Kanohi asks... <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Kanohi asks, what inspired you to create the Great Bob? For those of you who don't know, this lovely chap on the screen is Bob. He isn't he isn't he beautiful? He's wonderful. Yeah, so can I Bob came to this world when me and my friend Jolly Fignut were at my place eating eating lunch. We were just doodling and I ended up drawing a humanoid chicken human thing hybrid thing in my bob. Yeah, after lunch we, we decided I think we were streaming it at one point on Picardo. We decided to refine it and Bob kinda stayed. He's mine forever. <laughs> Taken. What art piece of yours that you're most proud of? Um, I'm proud of. I'm most proud of two things. Two thing uh, pieces. One is this zombie uh, girl, sad zombie girl I did 
uh, when I was starting my final year in high school. Yeah, and I was, there was also supposed to be in a, this, uh, this DNA speed train, but OBS screwed me over again. I, I was pr I'm proud of it. Be I'm still proud of it because was not only was my line art and coloring getting better, if but it, it just it, it just proved it just showed me that I'm, that I was actually improving. It made, it made me believe in myself again. Cause I was in, I was in the I was in the most, I was in the biggest thumbs in a while, and I had, but I had in a while. The other one is would be what it was the last speed paint uh, illustration. Cause I, I, it just showed how much I improved over the past four years. It's like, whoa, I can't believe I improved that much. And that's it. Favorite live action movie and animated movie. Um. I don't really have anything for live action because I don't really watch a lot of live action stuff. It's not, I can't find any good ones. Well, actually, never mind. Guardians of the Galaxy. I can't choose between one and two. They're both awesome. And Groot, Tiny Groot is just so adorable. I mean, come on. And for anime movie, as of recently, Incredibles 2, my childhood, and it, it just got better. Like, oh my. And then they used, and they ended up using Jack Jack as a little laser. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, sorry, I'm getting up Jack. Final question from Kanohis is: Do you agree I'm more, I'm the more professional standard than you? Nope. I will always be the most professional of professional spammers. Nobody can take that. Nasha asked, "How are you? Liv, how are you?" Jeep asked, are you adept, adept at table tennis? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, back when I, when I went to the Boys and Girls Club, I was, I was pretty decent at it. I would end up getting the, I would end up getting the, the little ping pong ball, uh, at the front desk where we get taken away sometimes. Well, a lot of times. But, I'm not sure about now though. I haven't played that in years. Nika asked, can we get a synopsis of your story? For those of you who don't know, I have this project it's called Deadlock Hotspot. It's based, it's, it's basically my character Zisa and her and three other uh, uh, protagonists. I don't have names for them yet. And that where they so basically, in the, it's basically like in the future, post-apocalyptic, where the Earth is so polluted that most people just live underground in underground cities. Well, they, they have, so basically our protagonists go up to the elevator from the underground city to get supplies when the elevator malfunctions, like the system malfunction and they're already trapped. Well, everybody in the city's trapped. The protagonists have to go to the next city and back six, uh, in, in the span of six months, six months uh, before the, the, the generator and backup generators that supply um, like F like air oxygen and, and, and energy for cooking and stuff like that uh goes kaput that's pretty much the basics I'm, I'm not too much in the details but that's that's all that how many stories do you have one once you get all the multiverse shenanigans we came up with on, on spite how did you come up with the idea for your story slash when you started it um you guys know about that old game the old flashing called pop tropica well Survivor Island was one of my favorites. I like surviving. I like survival type of stories. That's actually where Issa came from before she became her own character instead of just a fan character of Pot Tropica. And and for the apocalyptic stuff, it came from the uh, Telltale's version of The Walking Dead. I just like post-apocalyptic stuff, but I didn't want to try. I didn't want to go for the zombie route. <laughs> is spamming fun? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Why do you think I do it? Natasha asks, what's the hardest thing to draw? Don't say Ash is here, I swear. Oh, come on, that's not cool. That's not cool. Um, for, if it's not involving people, backgrounds, and perspective. If it involves people without, besides the hands and feet, the, the male physique, the male body. I can't get the proportions yet. It's really hard. What's your favorite color? I'm, I'm stuck between blue and purple. I'll wear it off, in fact, that's, that's the color scene in my bedroom, blue and purple. When are you going to get your... When are you... 
When are you going to get off your butt and make your anime story? I don't know. <laughs> I'm lazy. What's your favorite thing to draw? Yep, it goes my phone, sorry. What's your favorite thing to draw, says Natasha? I don't know. Whatever, whatever makes me giggle, I guess. Can you tell us more about Ethan? Sure. She's 16. She's 5 foot 1. She's a, she's a, at her the fight or flight. She's a fighter. Not a, she does not fly away. She is not a bird. And she, for her weapon, she has a chip. I'm not gonna say why she has it. Oh, to be honest. Favorite subject in school? It, it was banned. It would have been art, but I didn't take any art classes. I only took one art class in seventh grade, and that's about it. What's up? I don't know. This guy, maybe. And finally, Yuki asked, Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick! <laughs> well, that's all the questions I have, so I guess, as all the big fancy YouTubers say, leave a like and subscribe and comment down below for what you want next. That's what everybody's saying, so I'm just gonna copy them. Anyways, I'll see you next video. Bye!